Another thing we see throughout Scripture as we're taking this 40,000 foot view is that the mother-child, father-child relationship is often illustrative of God's relationship with us. Uh, we see as a mother loves her child, that's the way I want to love you. As a father disciplines his child, that's the way I want to discipline you. So God often uses the family relationships to illustrate his relationship to us. And his desire for us is that we be responsive children, just like our desire is that our children will be responsive. Children also have a, have a responsibility to, to honor their parents, to respect their parents, to obey their parents, and to learn uh, and to respond to, to the, the teaching that they're, they're receiving. And we're to, we're to begin that teaching from a very young age. In the New Testament, we see Paul saying to Timothy, remember the things that you learned from your mother and your grandmother from infancy. So apparently, Timothy was learning the scriptures, was hearing the scriptures, even as a little baby. And we say, well, why? What, what's the point? They can't understand anything. But I happen to believe that children have a sense of transcendence. They have a transcendence. There's, there's, they understand that there's more to uh, this world and what they see and touch. And that transcendence can often be kind of squeezed out of them if we don't nurture it. But I believe that even teaching an infant is something that uh, will have an influence on them in later, later in life. The, uh, there's a story told in my family that the day I was born, my father carried me in his arms, praying that I would one day be a missionary maybe both arms because he's carrying my twin sister at the same time. But the story in my family is that my father carried each of us in his arms the day we were born, praying that we would be missionaries. And all of our, my, myself, all of our six children in that family have had something to do with missions. I think it's a result of our father's prayers. Mm -hmm.